Okay guys, welcome to this video looking at a warm-up challenge, okay, and it's aimed specifically for GCSC higher tier students, okay, and I got this from the MathsBox website, so feel free to check out MathsBox, okay, at www.mathsbox.org.uk, it has some fantastic resources, okay, I'm only able to use the free trial version because I don't have full access to it, but if your school has full access to it, then I would advise to check Check out Maths Box. It's another fantastic resource website, okay, for GCSE students and even Key Stage 3 students and A level students, okay. Right, guys, so this is like a little um, like treasure hunt actually. So each slide actually, I'm gonna perform an operation to work out my answer and then I'll work out like the next step, okay. So this is my start number, it's 125. Feel free to obviously pause it, have a go, okay, as I'm doing it and then press play when you're ready, okay. So let's just get straight into it today, guys. So 125 guys raised to the power of two thirds, okay. So 125 to the power of two thirds. So this is a fractional indice problem. So I take the cube root of my number, okay. So the cube root of 125, we should know that that's equal to five guys, okay. So that's going to equal to 5, because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, okay? And then I'm going to raise my answer to the power of the numerator. So 5 squared, okay, the numerator is just like a normal power, a normal exponent. 5 times 5 is 25, guys. So that's my answer for the first part. Okay, next one, 25 multiplied by, by 24. Okay, now there's a little trick here. So I'm going to rewrite this as 24 times 25. Now, timesing by 25, guys, is the same as multiplying by 100 and then dividing by 4. So multiply by 100, I get 2,400. And then dividing my answer by 4, okay, I get 600, okay, but you are welcome to use, like, the normal multiplication method, okay, I just try and find, like, little ways to make my easier sum, okay, so timesing by 25, guys, just to summarise, is the same as multiplying by 100 and then dividing by 4, because if you ignore this sign for a minute, 100 divided by 24 is 25, and then putting that time sign in that same as multiplying by 25 okay so the answer you get is 600 okay next one guys find 15 percent of 600 so a percentage of an amount okay 15 percent of 600 i'm going to work out what 10 percent is so 10 percent means i divide it by 10 so 10 percent of 600 is equal to 60 5 percent is half of 60 which is going to be 30 60 plus 30 is equal to 90 guys so the answer i get is 90 okay so 10 percent just to be very clear guys 10% is equal to 60, and then 5% is half of 10%, which is half of 60. So 5% is half of 60, which is equal to 30. 10% plus 5% equals 15%, so 60 plus my 30, I get equal to 90. Next part, dividing by 0 0.5, that's same as multiplying by 2, okay, same as doubling your answer, okay, so that's going to equal to 180, okay, double of 90 is 180, so dividing by 0 0.5, guys, actually doubles your answer, so it's the same as multiplying by 2, okay, so, um, that was equal to 180, wasn't it, um, for that, so, Decrease it by 80%. Well, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to multiply by 0 0.2, okay? Because I'm essentially taking 20% of the amount. Decreasing by 80%, okay, means that I'm working out essentially 20% of the amount, okay? So 180 times 0 0.2, okay? Well, 18 times 2 is 36, okay? If I ignore the zeros, the answer I get is 36, okay? So, 180 times 2 is 360, and then divide your answer by 10, I get 36, key. Okay? So, essentially, this decimal place knocks out this zero here, 
Okay, so the answer I get is just 36. The square root of 36 is equal to 6, guys. Okay, we, we are taking the positive root of 36. Okay, so we are ignoring the plus and minus here. Okay, so 6. 6 to the power of 3. Well, that's 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216. Okay, but again, I can use long division to work it out. Okay, so... 216 rounded to two significant figures, well, that's going to give me the number 220, okay? Remember that a significant figure means the first non-zero number. So this is my first significant figure, my second one, okay? And then the zeros fall after, okay? And that would be my third significant figure. But I've rounded it here to two significant figures, okay? I'm now going to work out 25% of 220, okay, that's same as dividing it by 4, so divide it by 4, okay, I'm going to get half of it is 110, half it again, I get 55, okay, round 55 to one significant figure, well, your answer is going to be 60, okay, so this part here, the question mark, the answer we get is 60, guys. Okay, so let me know in the comment section if you got the answer of 60. Okay, and that was like a nice little interesting short maths puzzle starter that I would deliver if I was in like a year 10 or like a year 11 class. Okay, for GCSE higher tier. This is aimed predominantly for the higher tier. However, some aspects and some parts of it will also be included within the foundation tier as well. Okay, so feel free to obviously tune in and out of it if you're doing the foundation tier and watch the bits that you'd like to watch. Okay. But we have like a mixture of like different topics, okay, percentage of amounts, okay, um, decimals, okay, multiplying by um, two, 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 a two digit number, okay, square roots, okay, fractional powers, okay, normal powers, percentage of amounts, rounding to a certain number of significant figures, okay, etc, etc. Okay, so feel free to practice any parts of it that you weren't sure how to do. Okay, I'll try and link in the description the topics that it corresponds to on the GCSE curriculum, so you can tune in and have a look at which parts you weren't sure how to do or if you want to watch like a more in-depth video okay but that's it for me today guys thanks for watching this short sharp video please like please comment please share and please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video okay bye for now